Hello. In the next few minutes, we will see how to manage work more efficiently. Work comes in two types, my work and teamwork. In either case, we can manage it more effectively by dividing it into multiple types. As we go along, we will learn each one of them and see how to do it more effectively. First thing is very simple. I decide the work, I do it. I don't need to inform anybody else. Obvious question is, I need a list of my pending work. The question is, where is that list? And you will realize that that list is typically scattered across multiple places. Now the problem there is, when you want to decide what to do, let's say you come out of a meeting, you have half an hour, and you want to decide what is the best use of my half an hour. What do you do? You will have to search across all these places, which is practically difficult because you can't sort, filter or prioritize. So now what to do? We find the least or fastest way to do it, which is mind, which basically is a bad idea because then in order to use your time effectively, we cannot do whatever comes to our mind that is inefficient. What is the root cause of this inefficiency? Very simple. Our work is scattered across places and obviously the answer is to keep it in one place. The question is, what is that ideal place? And surprisingly, that is task folder in Outlook. When you go to task folder in Outlook, you may be looking at to do, just look at it. Second item is the task folder. Now what are we doing? First step, all tasks doesn't matter where they originate, should be put in task folder. Very simple. The second step is equally important. We want to make sure that tasks get time to execute. What do you do? Open calendar, then open task folder and then drag and drop from task folder to calendar. What happens because of that? We have ensured that we block time for at least the important work, if not all the tasks. Basically, I took an appointment with myself to do my own work, which may sound funny, but actually this is time management. Tasks has become an important part of your life. So ideally, you should go to task folder first, execute work on time, allocate time for it in calendar, and then go to inbox. The next is delegation. Typically, we send a mail and hope that someone will remember. You are going to forget, other person is going to forget. It's a disaster. The correct way of delegating work is to go to task, create a new task, and there is a nice little button there called assign task. Click on that button, specify the name of the person who is supposed to do it, only one name, in order to make sure that person is accountable. That's it. Now what happens? The other party gets an accept decline request not just an email, this is a task request. And what happens when that person accepts or declines? This whole process happens, so let's go through it quickly. I assign a task to someone. Anyway, that task remains in my task folder in case the other party doesn't do anything. The other person gets the request, clicks on it, accepts it, then it becomes a task in that person task folder. Eventually, when that person finishes it, I will be notified and remember I have a task equivalent that will also be marked as complete. How do you monitor only the delegated work? Go to view tab. There is a nice little view called assigned view. It gives you a list of all the delegated work only and it is grouped by person responsible. So it is easy for you to monitor and follow up with people. The other part is, suppose others delegate to me. Typically, they are going to do it by sending a mail. So rather than flagging the mail and converting it to a to-do list, it's better to convert the mail to tasks. Now, of course, mail is lying in inbox and tasks are in task folder. How do you do the conversion? Very simple. You do a drag drop, but there is a special type of drag drop. Typically, when you drag and drop, you use the left mouse button to drag. This time, you use the right mouse button 
and then drag drop the mail to task folder why is that important because it gives you an option ideally you should use move option rather than copy option why because move keeps one copy of the mail copy will create two copies and confuse you so that's how delegation of work to me can also be handled from the same place task folder now there's one very common place where tasks originate that is while we are taking notes assuming you are taking notes in one note suppose i wrote an action item in one note right click on that sentence look at this flag type of icon choose the deadline that's it so one note will talk to outlook automatically and add this as a task with tomorrow as a deadline very useful feature in case you want to delegate work the same concept right click on the action point click on the flag but this time choose custom and then choose assign task and the person responsible so all these three types of work was my work what about team work or shared task list that is best done in a tool called planner and planner is best put inside teams because very often we manage projects using teams so if you go to teams by default to get posts and files click on the plus sign and then add planner planner is basically a shared task list you can create categories of tasks decide what is to be done when it is to be done and who will do it as simple as that these categories help us understand which are the buckets in which tasks are happening each person can see this list live on their desktop or mobile so there is no need to send copies or have review meetings especially during review meetings we want to see what is not done what is done what is pending so that is called group by progress which is like a kanban board and you can see it instantly this can be seen even on mobile phone you can also see a graphical view and makes it easy to assimilate the overall picture now there is another nice tool called to do app which gives you a combination of planner work which is shared work and my personal work from outlook so if you have to do app on mobile this comes from outlook this comes from outlook these are planner tasks and very nicely tasks across projects which are assigned to you are shown here so it's a combined view and the final type of task which we have to worry about is link tasks these are typically large complex projects where tasks are not done in isolation if a particular task gets delayed it affects other tasks that kind of thing is best done in a project management tool like microsoft project we have list of tasks they are linked to each other and it will also draw a nice gantt chart we just saw different types of work and how to use it effectively using the right tool in the right place that's all there is to it thank you